Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76 and today we're doing the Seeker of Mysteries uh, questline. So we need to head here to Pleasant Valley to the ski resort. I absolutely love my loading screen but let's not spend too long here. Once you get to the ski resort it says you have to infiltrate it. So that tells you quite a few things here. First of course being that there's going to be a fight and oh I love fighting through this place inching through piece by piece it's not very exciting right now from what you're seeing in the video but i assure you there are a few battles to be had here you can start hearing them already look they're little mole miner men pop oh, i love the sneak attack damage it's like crap this one's not gonna work he sees me look at him hobbling along to get me and i got the sneak attack on him as well even though i feel like hang on drop him i feel like he had a general idea of where I was, whoa, but he didn't know. So it's like, where is this coming from? Where? Are you? Look at him popping out there on the left. Aren't you clever? Oh, he's making a run to the right. So we have to track him. We're going to fight our way in here. It's going to be brilliant. One. Oh, that was the smart move. Well done. That was the smart move. He's run back over to the left. But there's another one on the right. Or is it the same one? It's another one. Pop. We dropped him in one. Fantastic. Those little guys out here, these, um, what are they called? Anyway, they're disintegrating, whatever they're called. <gasps> and more coming at me. So this is quite a, quite a fun battle, especially if you have a scope and you, you want to take this a distance. Although, I'd imagine it'd be quite a laugh as well, up close and personal with the shotgun. So yeah, I'm kind of chilling here and popping them one by one and trying to make sure I get everyone's intention and get them out and get them involved so I can pop them one by one. At a relatively safe distance that's what it's all about keep nice and relatively safe or at least that's what i do and in turn i use less resources so let's jump on so once you've done that you're going to keep pushing through and now you come to this area um i think it's going to be random what you face here i kind of walked in on a battle here scorched that's what they're called now they're not shooting at me if you notice i'm still well hidden who they're shooting at I think is a super mutant so I'm going to take advantage of this little uh, scuffle that's going on and just pop everyone I, I don't like to take sides in this I like to remain neutral and just kill everyone I think that's the fairest way to handle this I love these one shotters there's the super mutant <laughs> he's nearly gone anyway so no harm there Still got danger up, of course, so there is still a lot to play for. I luckily turned around just to check my six, and look at this guy. Pop. Anyone else? Anyone else? Who wants some? Check out my rifle. All right, we got a full clip of five. And we'll make our win. Now, you can see that as soon as we came here, it's changed. Now, we need to search for information about the Order of Mysteries. And you see these little things lying around here like this. They're all over the compass. So we'll have a read of these. Um, you hear about the ambush. Another one of those girls. Or another one. Of, yeah, those girls. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like I should have gone further into that. But I will leave that for you to read. Um, it's a very, very nice quest line. I really, really liked um, these mystery quest chains. I, I'm not getting too much out of them in terms of loot. I don't feel um, that kind of changes this time around, I believe. Uh, but story, the story alone has been quite interesting and I've, it's kind of brought me back again and again and again. I'll kind of wander off and end up doing some other things for a while, but it's always gnawing away in the back of my mind that I need to get back to that mission. And they're, they're not as straightforward. They're very, they can be very time consuming. So, this one we have the assassins. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Let's take a couple of girls, etc, etc, etc. They're pretty much... This is a bunch of raiders. And this is their internal communications about the Order of Mysteries. Which is, uh, well, the place set in the Batcave. So, that's another one down. So, we can head up. We're not getting too much resistance in here because of the damage that we did outside. We drew a lot of people to us and we popped them that way. It's my preferred method of um, 
of combat in this game. I was, uh, I'm like that in a lot of games. I like to hold back and be the sniper and support where I can. But of course, there's other times I cannot resist. Just, uh, that's going to be hard for you to read. But fire away. It'll probably be easier when you find it yourself. But there are times, of course, I cannot resist just grabbing a shotgun and just getting in close and personal. This is just not one of those times, I'm afraid. And so then we can cross over here and grab a third or fourth. Third, fourth. How many have I picked up? I, f I forget. So we still have another point on the map, but now the mission has changed to locate Brody's room. So, okay, we're going to go and we're going to locate Brody's room. It's down around here somewhere. Just keep following your mission marker. I kind of get a little lost. I'm walking in its general direction. And it's like, okay, not here. But now I'm getting the gist that... Oh, hello. So we've got some rounds here. We've got more shotgun shells there. We have a plan for a harness. A loose spring. Always welcome. Another plan. Quite a cool area. Nice workbench there. If you need it, I am not in need of a workbench. I really, really, really am underutilizing the workbenches I should be doing so much more. So, back to trying to figure out how to get in. In fact, I need to go around. The front door is at the front. Of course, figuring out where the front is from this perspective was not the easiest thing to do, but once you do... This is the area I'm calling the front, by the way. So, up the stairs and in we go. Now, as is customary, I never head immediately to the waypoint. Instead, I have a look around. Let's listen to the solitaire. Bombs dropped. The former guests at the ski resort have lost their minds. If being a member of the honorary mock naval yachting society has taught me one thing, is that preparation is key to survival. Idiots here locked up their belongings, set up the access key, stashing away valuable items to use for barter. Decision being made is foolish. Instead of using this facility as a headquarters and sending out hunting parties to look for scraps, we need to find a new base of operations. We should band together in larger groups and take anything we find along the way. They're convinced the government is going to rescue them, but the, the truth of the matter is, we're on our own. The only people that can help us now are ourselves. Right, you are. Okay, so, just gonna try and figure out where I'm gonna put this. And Gunsmith is looking good. Uh, be very, very, very good. So we can combine them into a, yeah, do a card. That's two Gunsmith, and I have two unused points here, so I could pop it in and up that to 20%. That is awesome. Okay, so before we do Brody's room, as I said, I'd like to search around. Oh, hello. So, there's some diseased rad roaches in there. You have to be very careful with the diseased ones. If they make enough contact with you and bite you, you will be diseased as well. So, I'm kind of backing off and not getting involved with an axe or a machete or any such thing. Now, other than the rad roaches there, there's not really much else going on in this room. So, we can make our way to Brody's room. Of course, things are never as simple as they should be. Look, it even says Brody. And you need a lockpick skill three. I don't have any lockpick skill. If you do, well done. In you go, continue the quest. If, however, you are like me, we need to find a key to Brody's room. To do that, we need to go over here to the terminal. Oh, we're a little thirsty there. Best sort this out. That should do it. Bit of food. Cool. So, check out the terminal. Have a read through it. There's a lot to read. I'm not going to do that. But once you've read it, you will determine where to find a key. So, you have to follow your mission marker. Again, it's all the way over here now. It's a lot of over and back here to get into Brody's room. I should have known from the very start, it was not going to be as easy as advertised. It never is in these missions or this quest line. So we have a bit of ground to cover, not too much. And we know we've um, taken out a lot of the resistance. 
However, where we're headed is not where we've been yet in this area. Therefore, more resistance is to be expected. So we're backing up for the long shots here. Sweet. Now I'm showing it's hidden, so I'm also going the wrong way. <laughs> Um, I don't think any of them are a threat. They're probably going to dissolve away in their own time. Here's some more. Now, this is the beta, keep in mind. So, I think I did very well. I targeted him. Pop. He should drop. He didn't. So, I was thinking, if it's not him, who is it? We know one of them scorched, at least. So, this guy, right? He's registering as scorched. No dice. No dice at all. So, I'm like, what the hell? Ah, but it's just uh it's just the beta been the beta. There were problems here and there. So I'm like, I'm not gonna waste too much more ammo on this. So we just skedaddle past. And then of course, oh look! Oh you got me! You got me! I, how did I think you weren't scorched? Well Yeah. Joke's on me. Well done guys. Take them down. Ching 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 ching. Just grab everything because that's where I get things from, not from <laughs> this guy coming through the door. Surprise. Um, oh, didn't actually spot him in the back right. And I wasted a shot. And I wasted another, so we have to make the next one count. Ah, stim pack. Go stim pack. Pop. Done. Hidden. Whew. Over to the back sack here. This is where uh, Duffel Bag. It's where Brody left his key. Good man, Brody. Back to Brody's room. Alrighty, we have the key and we pop open the door. So this is what it's all about. So there's a button there, that's great. There's a skiing outfit, I think. Um, we could open this foot locker because it doesn't require too much in the way of skill. Boom! Look, we got a Pleasant Valley intranet or intranet memo. And it's about users getting locked out of their damn computers and uh, resetting their passwords so you can get back in. That's quite a handy memo to have. I highly advise you get that. Um, we can open this door as well. Sweet. Not much else in here, except for the damn terminal that requires skill level three. And I only have skill level one. So guess what? Guess what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to go and reset Brody's account. <sighs> God damn Brody. So, heading off to our mission marker. Well, marker is plural, actually, because there's an option alert to find a password for Brody's terminal. Now, I didn't opt for that, you can. I went this direction, not knowing which was which, and ultimately the direction I picked was to reset his password. So I don't know what happens if you go the other way. Um, if you choose that way instead, do let me know which worked out easier. Did you go the other way, encounter zero resistance, and just boom, found the password? Because I'm not going to encounter zero resistance. Look at this. I'm like, <laughs> let's close the door. And behind me through the wall. Two, and then I have to reload. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to get out of here. I put myself in a bad situation. Stim pack and sprint. Get myself a bit of room. That's what we need, room between us so I can swap weapons. This one is a boss. Level 22. Pop one, pop two. Bit of fire. Hit myself as well, but you know, these things happen. And he's still coming. Reload. Pop two more. These are up close and personal. Two more, and he's down. Down he goes. He has a miss missile launcher on him. He's a few other bits and bobs. I already have a missile launcher. I already have the Mr. Handy as well, so we're good in that regard. Bring it. That was handled very nicely. Some shotgun shells. Thank you very much. Just make sure we are reloaded and good to go. And we'll try this bad boy from range. So yeah, was uh, finding the password easier than storming this building? I would be curious to know. 
which is more efficient in terms of time. This is more efficient in terms of fun, I feel. Well, I can't make that statement because I didn't go the other way. It's a gut feeling. Yeah, I can't jump over that. Bit of a shame. So, we're gonna sneaky sneaky, just to keep an eye on when there's danger, and work our way up. Even though, we should be working our way down. Anyway. So I'm hearing a lot of footsteps here, but I'm not seeing much. Look at you, look at you. Oh, I thought I had a grenade. I'm out of grenades, out of, well, what was I throwing? Petrol bombs, I guess. Was that what I was throwing? I did, I threw a petrol bomb. Oh, oh I'm doing so terrible here. Again! What a waste of a shot. One more, though. One more. We got this. We got this. Pop. There we go. We're showing hidden status again, which is good. So we'll have a quick looky around here. Is there anything below? That's a no, although... Hmm. I need an ID card. Very, very intrigued what's in there. And then we have this vendor bot, and we have a computer over here. Not the computer we're looking for. Blah, blah, blah. It's a bunch of mail. Read at your own leisure. Um, like Full disclosure, I had read that. And you work your way into this little room here. And this is the admin terminal. And so we can go to the admin and reset user passwords and find Brody. Goddamn Brody. Making my life hell here. There we go. Reset his password done. So you'll never guess where we're off to next. That's right. Brody's room. So let's head into Brody's room again. And now we can unlock his terminal. Fantastic. So we can access his intramural and have a read around if you want. Uh, let me see if I got this straight. A lot of guys, entire crew were wiped out by a girl dressed as a comic book character. And you, a young man I've never even heard of, managed to survive and befriend her. Cool. There's some stuff on quotas. 200 caps behind this month. Um, I must say, for all your stories, you certainly don't have much to show for it. We lost eight more men to mysterious ambushes. <laughs> mysterious. Deal. You can't possibly be serious. I tire of this charade. Rose will dispatch five men to Somersville to set up this ambush of yours. You will join them. If your stories are true, if you do manage, etc., etc. So we're, we're smelling betrayal here. Very well, you have my attention. From this point forward, your sole mission will be the elimination of this order of mysteries and their assassins and promoting you to lieutenant with a team of seven men of your choosing and a private suite in the Black Diamond Lodge. Wow, nice. That makes three successful hits. Judging by the reports, they put up quite the fight. It seems these are our mystery assassins. Tell your girl that I accept her offer. She can deliver... Well, who's our girl? Mother Lord, look. Excellent. I'm sending Tony over to help you analyze the database, etc., etc. If you don't know what Mother Lord is, check out the card in your right description. Or sorry, in the top right of your screen now. Uh, Mother Lord is a, another pretty cool quest uh, in this game. I was kind of cool there to see a, a reference to Mother Lord. And... Finale. So... I expect him to keep his end of the deal and signed Olivia Rivers. Oh, no. Not Olivia. Give me the hollow tape there, please. Okay. So, Mistress of Mystery. Now we need to gain access to the headmistress's uh, office. So we've finished and we've moved on from Seeker of Mysteries to the Mistress of Mystery, which is the next video I will put up. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. It's a small act to you, but means so much to the channel. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.